Yo, what's up guys? This is Adrian and this is another episode of Hybridicious and I believe this is the first time that I have uploaded two episodes in a span of three days so you guys are in for a little bit of a treat and this episode I did do something new. It is original from all my other episodes in a sense that I base my team around something different. Um, usually it's based around a nationality or a certain player. Uh, but a few days ago someone suggested I should base it around a uh, player attribute and I thought this was a perfect idea. Um, it's something I've never done in the past and I have lots of possibilities. Of course there are different um, attributes which you know players excel at and I can make tons of hybrids using this method. Uh, so for the first you know kind of player attribute uh, focus on the hybrid I decided to make a very strong team and this team was absolutely awesome. Um, so let's get started and in net we had the team of the year Rufier. This guy stands at 6'2 and preferably for me I like my keeper to be around 6'4, 6'5. Um, ultimately allows him to stop those pesky finesse shots which uh, you know everyone seems to use. Uh, but for 15,000 coins this guy is an awesome keeper and the main reason why I picked him is because he does have 72 strength which is very high and I believe the highest for any French keeper. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, I only checked keepers that were rated 80 or higher. Of course, you know, I don't want to have a uh, low rated French keeper who has, uh, you know, high strength. Uh, but he did fit the, you know, uh, the team criteria as in strong players. Um, decent player. He is an acrobatic keeper and I find acrobatic keepers are usually better at making those uh, really surprise stops. He's very good in one-on-one -on -one situations and I was really surprised at actually how good he was. I remember a certain game where I played Eto. And he saved me three times in three different occasions on one on one. So, uh, honestly, a great keeper, but I would still take the inform Loris if you're not, uh, you know, that big on the strength. And of course, you know, it's uh, utterly useless for a keeper. Um, I only picked him because he does fit the team criteria. And next, we have the second inform, uh, Adil Rami, at the right back position. I mean, the right center back position. And this guy stands at six foot three, so he is an aerial defensive threat, very good at uh, keeping away crosses. And I believe I played 12 games and I did not allow one single headed goal to be scored. And of course, that is my weak spot on Ultimate Team. Um, so this guy is a great defender. Only 20,000 coins for a second in form. And obviously, he does have 99 strength. Um, as you guys can see, only 60 pace. And this was never an issue for me. Um, he was able to keep up with other players. And of course, I always use custom formations, which allow slower defenders to succeed. Um, against pace horse so honestly his positioning and his strength really made up for his lack of pace and uh, a really great keeper definitely one of my favorite French defenders I've used this year and then in the left center back position we had the informed distant another great French defender stands at six foot four and this guy's another reason why I did not allow any headed goals and of course 97 strength so this guy is extremely strong and for only 14,000 coins this guy's an absolute bargain 61 pace same situation as Rami, you know, his positioning and his tactical awareness allowed him to uh, succeed against the faster players and I had absolutely no difficulties with him. And a very good tackler and honestly a great player for only 13,000 coins. And then we move on to the left back and in my opinion this guy is probably the strongest player in real life. If you were to ever see him, you know, this guy looks like an American football player. He is massive. I've seen some pictures on uh, Google and this guy is huge. So Elokobi, uh 1,200 coins. Uh, he's only five foot nine, but he does make up for that. Um, he has 91 jumping, so he was great at stopping the crosses. And I cannot stress enough how much I hate getting, you know, scored against uh, with headers. Um, so I make sure that my left back and right back are always capable to, uh, you know, stop the headed goals. And of course, this guy has, I believe, 95 strength, so he's obviously very strong. Uh, in my opinion, he's probably, you know, he does deserve 99 strength, but. Uh, um, I, I assume if he did have an inform, he would receive that stat, of course. And 67 pace, once again, he's not the fastest of players, but you know what? A few situations, he was going one-on-one -on -one with fast wingers like Valencia, like Gervinho, and he was able to keep up with them. And what he was really good at is before the player would actually try running by him, he would uh, just muscle him off the ball, so very few players actually... Uh, even got an opportunity to run by this guy. So a great defender and definitely worth the coins. And then we move on to the right back. And in this position, we have the Inform Irola. Uh, I'm not sure exactly that's how you pronounce his name, but I'm going to pronounce it Irola. And 18,000 coins. And I can safely say this guy is one of the most physically gifted uh, right backs I've ever used on this game. Um, I would go to an extent and uh, 
compare him to an Inform Richards and uh, Team of the Year Peace Check. Uh, 99 strength and 85 sprint speed. That's all you need to know. This guy is a physical beast. Uh, no player can run by him. No player can push him off the ball. Uh, basically, out muscles players all the time. You know, I barely had to tackle with this guy. And of course, 75 shooting. This guy's very gifted on offense. Um, the only problem you might have if you don't use a custom formation is he does have a high low work rate. And uh, basically, if you don't use a custom, he's not going to be on defense at all. I mean, he has uh, a not more offensively set uh, work rate than some attacking players. Uh, but with, uh, you know, custom formation or custom work rate, um, it doesn't completely override his high low. But it, what it did do is he was always back on defense and occasionally he would push forward on offense. And I found this to be a huge boost, you know, another attacker, another player who could pass and shoot. And he was honestly a great player. And the most important part, he was always back on defense. And of course, 80 heading, no headed goals were scored. So this guy is a complete beast. And you can't go wrong for 18,000 coins. And at the right central mid position, we had the team of the year, Miku. Um, only 13,000 coins as a center mid in this formation. So I got a great deal for this guy. Um, stands at six foot one, so he's a fairly tall player. And as you guys can see, 69 defending. That stat is not because he's good on defense. That stat is because he has 99 strength. Um, looking at his picture, he doesn't really look like a particularly strong player, but he does have 99 strength. And if you look at his stats, he's a complete midfielder. Um, he has all the attributes which you'd want in a midfielder. And what I was really surprised to find was he has 94 finishing, which is absolutely insane. Um, 92 free kick accuracy, so he has great free kicks. Um, unfortunately, I did not use any free kicks because that role was set for another player. And 97 short passing, so this guy is a great creator. Um, he does have a decent long shot. I did get a few on target. Um, of course, I didn't actually score any because it seemed like every keeper I played against would always track back and uh, kind of make that tip over the crossbar save. But uh, obviously a very good player. And if you do have more coins, I would definitely suggest getting team of the year Chabi Alonso. He does also have 99 strength. And I can only imagine he is a lot better than uh, Miku. But Miku is a very good player. And then at the central mid uh, position, we had the Silver Romaric. Stands at six foot two, and that's very good. Um, usually you want your center midfielder in the 4-3-1-2 position to be um, somewhat of a more physically gifted player and very good defensively, as this guy was. Of course, only 52 pays. And in this situation, it was noticeable. But once again, as a central defensive mid in a custom formation, I solely used him as a kind of a holding midfielder and as you guys can see 84 passing this guy is a great passer um, I scored a few uh, counter-attack goals because this guy was capable to make a long pass to my strikers and set them on for a one-on-one -on -one. Um, very you know balanced player only 58 heading that's because he is a poor jumper I'm not a very uh, physically gifted player but what he does lack in you know his physical attributes he does make up in free kicks um, definitely my favorite silver free kick taker in ultimate team this year um, I believe he has, where did I write this down, uh, eight, 92 curve and 86 accuracy, so that's not amazing, uh, but he's left footed and his free kicks for me just seem so good. Um, I've used this guy uh, before I started doing the series and he was definitely one of my favorite silver players. Um, so that's what, the reason why I did use him. Um, he only has 82 strength, which it does fit the criteria in a sense that he is a strong player, but obviously I wanted 90 plus. But, you know, 82 strength, that's still very respectable and obviously a very good player. And then finally, the last center midfielder, we had Yaya Toure. And this guy is easily my favorite non-inform midfielder in Ultimate Team. Uh, 4,500 coins is just criminal. This guy is so cheap. Uh, six foot two, and this guy is a jack of all trades. He could do everything. Um, I would probably say he could play any position on Ultimate Team with the exception of goalie. Um, you're going to see a few goals where his finishing was, you know, top class. Um, his dribbling, his pace, his strength. Of course, he does have 94 strength, which perfectly fits the team. And great defensively, great offensively, just an overall really gifted player. And I could only imagine his team of the year card being a lot better. Um, I was actually tempted to uh, upgrade him, but, um, you know, he was playing so well, I really didn't feel the need to uh, make the upgrade. Uh, but definitely a great player. And then in the center forward position, we had my favorite silver this year in Ultimate Team. And if you guys have not heard of Traore, or you guys don't know exactly who he is, you guys are in for a little bit of surprise. As you guys can see, bam, six foot eight. Are you kidding me? Six foot eight. Uh, this guy is as tall as LeBron James. Honestly, I do not know what he's doing playing football. Uh, but this guy is an amazing player. Only 900 coins. As you guys can see, scored eight goals. 
I only finished two games with this team, and I believe he scored four goals in each game. Of course, I'm still disconnecting from games, and uh, there's honestly no way to fix it for me. But anyways, we're going off topic. Six foot eight, left footed, four star weak foot, 81 finishing. That's all you need to know. His pace is not 70. That's a complete lie. Uh, whoever did that is completely trolling you. He feels like 80, 85 pace. I'm being perfectly serious. Uh, but another reason why he f does feel so uh, fast is because he does have 90... Uh, 95 strength and what that allows him to do is kind of keep players on his shoulder So when he is a one-on-one -on -one and someone does catch up to him He's just honestly gonna push you off uh, You know carry you back to the goalie and just score a goal because his finishing is so good Um, of course only 41 passing and you usually want your center forward to be a better passer But this guy was not a problem uh, because I did play him as a striker and the next player I am introducing played the center forward position and that was Bukharov and honestly, not a very special player. I only picked him because he does have 94 strength. Uh, 700 coins, you can't go wrong. 6 foot 4, a very physical, big presence in the field. And he's honestly a decent passer, 68 passing. Um, he did make a few, you know, through balls that allowed my strikers to get into a uh, goal getting position. And honestly, a decent player. And I scored a very nice goal with this guy, as you guys will see later on in the episode. Uh, so nothing special, but definitely, you know, a player worth 700 coins and he does have the uh, physical attributes for the team and finally we have in my opinion the most athletic player in ultimate team yes I've said it the upgraded Emma Nike for 1,000 coins guys you will not get a better striker you can quote me on that and let me list a few stats 97 strength you're not going to push him off the ball 86 sprint speed I mean how do you compare with this guy you can't catch up to him and you can't push him off the ball and then finally you pair that with 92 finishing yes I said 92 finishing and 99 shot power and you have the best striker for 1000 coins and obviously for anyone who does follow my channel for or you have been following my channel for quite some time you will know I have used this guy in a hybrid before but he I, I had to use him again you know he perfectly fits the criteria and he's such a great player definitely worth the coins and um, honestly, one of my favorite, uh, you know, cheap strikers on Ultimate Team. Um, it's unfortunate that he only has three-star skill moves. Um, so overall, a very physically gifted team. As you guys can see, these guys are all monsters. Even Romarek, you know, uh, in this situation, you'd only say 82 strength, but he was very strong. And I believe the average strength of every player was 95, which is insanely high. Um, the only downfall was there was no four star skillers and preferably for me I like to skill so let's move on to the goals so now guys I show you why Troy is my favorite silver in the game one two and three now all he has to do is run by the defense and score and of course he does that guys six foot eight amazing dribbling amazing finishing you honestly can't go wrong with Troy for 900 coins and as you guys usually know I have an overhead kick in every episode so there is the overhead kick and this seems like another over that what that two overhead kicks I've never done that before. All right, anyways, what? No, stop it. No three. I I don't recall getting this goal. This is is this a third? Yep. That that is a third overhead kick. Um, I understand that overhead kicks are not the most amazing uh, types of goals, but three overhead kicks in three games. Uh, this is something I've never done before with any striker. You know, I've had the likes of an inform Ibrahimovic, and not even he was capable of, uh, you know, achieving that kind of feat. As you guys can see, Emenike showing off his tight ball control and his finishing. Um, so overall, a very great team. It's a very unique team in a sense that, you know, every player is so strong and so physically gifted. Um, if you've never really tried a team like this, I would definitely suggest it. You know, I've uh, personally tried... Um, over 100 teams on Ultimate Team, and this team was uh, very different. It was very unique um, in a sense that you know every player did possess this kind of, this kind of you know strength uh, attribute, which was just really unique. Uh, like I said, you know five times now. Um, so overall, a great team. I would definitely suggest, as you guys can see, Charoy once again pleading his case for the best silver in the game. Tight ball control and a solid finish. And then we have a little bit of Romaric showing off his free kick abilities. Uh, usually I don't show free kicks, but this was a beauty. Uh, 35 yards out past the heads of the wall and into that top corner. Uh, very solid free kick taker. And I did score a few more, but I'm not going to bother showing them because I know they're like 20, 25, you know, nothing special. Um, so overall, this team was definitely worth it. Definitely one of the best hybrids I've ever built. And if you know you do build teams that I do build, uh, this is a must. Uh, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'm going to leave you guys off with a beautiful volley. And uh, yeah, that's it. So have yourselves a nice day.